Right now at 11, kids in Atlantic Beach say going to the Jordan Park Community Center after school isn't the same anymore. Recently, the recreational manager was fired from his job after 23 years. That didn't sit well with parents and students. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Anthony Austin and I'm Heather Crawford tonight. They expressed to city officials that they want him back on your sides. Tristan Hardy has the story. I work from this hour to that hour. The cadre D Davis has many titles, coach, teacher, friend to some. He's a father figure and D has like always been there for me to like lean on to somebody. He makes everything so much more fun. All that fun was at the Jordan Park Community Center. And Dee was always there for me to talk to. As I spend a lot of individual time with the kids so I can understand and know each kid. That is until they say Dee was fired from his role as recreation manager. And I'm not completely understanding. After 23 years. Actually, really everything that took place. He says the city's deputy manager, Kevin Hogenkamp, did not make his job easier. Everything that he asked me to do, I do it and it's never good enough. This letter given to D reads he failed to meet work standards, showed incompetence, and falsified official records. I've never been wrote up. I've never had any, no, um, no issues, no nothing in 23 years. I have a squeaky clean record. In solidarity, Monday's commissioner's meeting was packed with students and parents. Um, it is truly heartbreaking to see that he was terminated. I do not agree with the removal of him from our community center. Do his best and make the right decision. Offer D his job back. Hoping city officials heard their plea. I think they heard me loud and clear. Davis says if the city of Atlantic Beach offered him a job again, he would take it. To Davis, the kids worked hard for him. In Atlantic Beach, I'm Tristan Hardy, First Coast News, on your side.